Hey guys, my girlfriend FC here with another homemade, old-fashioned StarCraft 2 cast, just like Mama used to make. And tonight we have a TBT on Shutter Temple with Flare versus Turbo. Now this is a diamond match between... wait... What? We don't... we don't cry? You can't well telling Hydra finds out he's gonna be very mad with you terrorplanes. You're gonna find Hydra in there. Making me say Terrence in there. Hey guys, back after my little Pause break after that game after Turbo said some very harsh untrue things about Zero players. Anyway, I'll try and be professional about this. In the bottom we have Red, Flare. Uh, this is a diamond game. They have spawned cross positions, Shadow Temple, Terran versus Terran. Of course we have Turbo in the top. And they are putting down their supply depots at almost the same speed. Uh, blue was a few seconds ahead. And so, basically mirror builds at this moment. Of course, in TBT you usually see a lot of marine tank, as well as heavy biocompositions with medevacs. So it should be interesting to see where these players diverge. If either one of them goes for an expansion, or if they're just going to go for that one base aggression that is so effective as a Terran. Looks like Flair has now thrown down his barracks, but of course Blue has thrown up a gas first. He's going for a very gas build. Maybe some, he's going to tank rush or get um, medevacs out early. And Turbo... Yeah, Turbo's barracks isn't too far behind actually, so he might come out ahead in this. He has actually one supply up as well. Flare has now scouted the close air position and realized he is not there and will be moving to the blue player's base. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to wall in in time. It looks like he's not going to start his next supply depot for a while. So it looks like Red will be able to get into the base and he could be able to do some harassment on this building SCV. And it looks like he's just going to go... Oh, nope, he goes back for it. And it looks like he's going to get a few shots off, but that barracks will complete. So the SCV won't be able to do much damage there, but could try. And at this timing, because they've both got the gas now, he doesn't. he can't really tell the ch this Terran player got his gas first. He could click on the gas and check the actual count, but that's something that players don't really do very often. It's actually quite helpful, but sometimes you just don't really think about it at all. And it looks like this Marine is going to kill the scouting SCV, and that will go down. Of course, uh, Red is getting his orbital command up. Looks like he got up a little bit faster than Blue. Now they both have, both players have theirs up. And interestingly, Turbo is getting his factory in the back of his base instead of at the front. You can see here that Flair is opting to build his factory right next to his barracks, so he's going to switch it onto this tech lab, I'd imagine. And of course, that'll give him the faster siege tech because this factory is going to have to build its own tech lab, and that's going to put him back by the time of a tech lab, obviously. So it looks like Blue's taking a little bit of a head in the lead just by one. This, of course, it's still very close. Can't really tell much, but he is getting a Reaper out, and this Reaper is more so for scouting than damaging the SCV line, but it's always nice to get a few SCV kills while you're scouting. Turbo's trying to scout the front, and he is now seeing that the tech lab and factory are there, so he will know what's coming. And of course, this Reaper is now making its way across the map. And, oh, what do we have here? We have a starport going up right next to the tech lab, so we're going to be seeing this switching off, I'd imagine. And that means we're going to be seeing some banshees, or some sort of ridiculous raven rush, which is about 90% chance of not happening, so... Looks like we'll be seeing some banshees versus siege tech, and those can be really powerful. The banshees can take out those uh, siege tanks if there's not a big... Oh, and bad move by Red. He had his uh, marines spread out in just a position where he needs to, and that... Unfortunately, he's going to see no tech, and he has no idea that this Banshee will be coming. He has not seen anywhere in the red space, and of course you don't want to use those scans, because you want to use them for mules. So it looks like it's going to be a bit of a surprise attack. And of course he is also getting Cloak, so it's going to be all the more deadly. First Siege tank is already out for red, and 
It looks like he hasn't got any medevacs. Oh, actually, he's starting a Viking. So he might know what's up. Of course, the way that he is hiding his tech and the fact that he didn't see the initial factory will make him suspicious of something. Perhaps it's just part of his uh, build. Of course, a Viking with a siege tank is very useful because you can use the Viking to spot the high ground. And some players might not know this, but a siege tank actually has further range in siege mode than it does than it can see. So you need a unit, a flying unit like a Viking or something, or even a barracks, uh, just to scout for the tank. And of course, if he sieges up in the low ground, he can shoot at the high ground as long as he's got something sliding there. And you know, it's a little easier than the air units. You can do it with ground units, but then they're more in the line of fire. They can also be hit by the siege tank. And it looks like the first banshee is just about halfway complete. Cloak is going to finish up soon, and there's not a lot of defense for our red player. He is getting up a second orbital command, which can actually be used in defense because, of course, he'll have the second scan if he can get the orbital command finished. But he's going to be in a bit of trouble because he got this late, late factory uh, tech lab. He is not going to have siege tech for another 40 seconds. So, this is where red needs to make his damage. The first banshee is going out, and it looks like Flare. Ooh, the first banshee is actually already in the base of the second banshee, and he's already got four kills. And he's going for that second command center. Red player has moved his units off to the side. But that Banshee's going to get a lot of kills because Banshees can actually... Small amount of Marines, a Banshee can take easily. Banshees have slightly longer range than the Marines as well, I believe. Of course, he is walling, uh, sieging up the front now, and he is going to lose his barracks unless he's forced to lift it. He lost his two supply depots, so that supply locks him. And lifting up that barracks, and unfortunately that makes him vulnerable to the Viking fire. He's using a Viking at home to try and kill this Banshee, and it's... Ooh, the scan just failed at the last second, and that of course makes the Banshee invincible again. Until number 43 energy. And that Banshee's gonna get so many because it's already up to 15, and I have to think that it's gonna get all these SCVs if he's not careful. Meanwhile, the Siege Tech has finished up for the blue player. Unfortunately, he only needs this barracks to sight the high ground. He is able to shoot away at this, and the Marines are gonna be no way they can get in. These two Banshees are wreaking havoc in the base, and ooh, that Viking gets one kill. He's going to get a second Banshee, and it looks like it's going to escape the scan. And he's not going to be scanning again for a long time, and he has no defense. It looks like he is leaving the base, though. He only has 32 energy left, but it's enough to do a lot of damage. Barracks goes down. And he is continuing to push in. Blue is actually over about twice the supply of red, but... He can't really deal with this. Oh gosh, it looks like he decloaked. He's trying to save energy on his Banshee. He's going into attack the tank, but oh no, the, the Viking is now coming in to chase the Banshee. And if the Viking gets the Banshee, then it'll be all over for our blue player. And it was a bit of a mistake by him because he decloaked. And now he can't cloak again until he's got 25 energy. And of course, not using cloak all the time will save energy, but of course, you've got that 25 penalty energy every time you recloak. And that's going to make it so he can't cloak, and he can't kill these siege tanks. He can't use the air units because he's, Flair's got air superiority. So you cannot try and take out the air and then go for the things. And he can't build any marines or anything, and even if he could, they're not going to stand up very long against the four siege tanks. So here we have Turbo GG's. So good game by Flair, and thanks for watching, guys.